If I smoke a cigar, I like the story of the cigar. If I drink some whiskey, I like the story of the whiskey. So sometimes what I'm consuming isn't expensive, but I love the story. I think the, the champagne tastes really good. Um, also, I mean, I'm not unfamiliar with Phil de Kranz. Um, when Tibbs and his team were making the champagne, I knew they were collaborating with an award-winning, you know, brand that makes these kind of award-winning wines and champagne. So I wasn't surprised that it tastes really good. And I'm so excited, it's the first black-owned atelier MCC in South Africa. So, yeah, very great. The name Atelier. Atelier MC, MCM Triple X. So the MCM Triple X is 1930 in Roman numerals, and Atelier means an artist's workshop. So it just, you know, the brand itself pays tribute to the first cellar built on Vildekrans Wine Estate, which is in the 1930s. So that is our first Atelier, that is our first workshop. An Atelier for me is just a, a beautiful, beautiful space to be in because I think your creative environment is where you can actually be yourself. On the technical side of things, for instance, what I'm drinking now. So, Method Cup Classique is it's French Champagne. It's made in the same process as French Champagne. We just can't call it Champagne because it's not from Champagne, France. I think it's an area that's untapped, especially uh, black. I don't like to say urban. Uh, you know, I think black people don't really, really engage with MCC. So I think it's, it's kind of cool that black boys can let black people know about the fact that we have world class stuff. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm from Katlong, um, which was known as the East Rand, which is Ekuruleni now. So, um, 80s baby. Um, I grew up in, a, in an era where we we worked during holidays. You know, my, my parents my parents weren't entrepreneurs at all, but my, my uncles were, and they owned stores. Uh, like the first black cinema in any township was in Katlong, and, uh, and my uncle built it. You know, the Tandabantu supermarket, my uncle built it, which is where show love comes from, like Tandabantu, you know. So I've always been around people that were working and building. I grew up in Alexandria. Uh, I see. Yeah, trials and tribulations, but it, but it was, it was a, I had a good upbringing because, you know, family-wise, 100%. My parents are strong, you know, it was as tough as it was, but it, it's, it's, I had a very good upbringing. And, you know, and, uh, you know when I was 10 years old or so, I, I met the Harlow family who owned Vildekrans Wine Estate. And again, the two families gelled uh, through myself and so my late brother Timothy Harlow and, and that's how the interest came about with, with regards to wines. Growing up in a place like Alexandra, you, you know, you need to get up and do things. And, uh, you can't sit back and, and, and wallow in, you know, what you see around you. Um, we are told that black people drink beer and so forth, so when you see black people exploring these type of markets, it's always something exciting and commendable that it's black people who are running the brand. So I would wish them all the best and obviously as a black person and as a quality product uh, that, that this is, I, I would support it. Um, it tastes amazing. It's very, very soft on the tongue. I love it. I've much preferred um, better than any other MCC. Let's say MCC because they don't call it champagne. <laughs> MCC I've ever tasted. I think it's an amazing product. to represent more uh, possibilities uh, you know we want young little kids go Alexandra and all of them to say I want to be a winemaker they can do it then so can I 
So it's it's shifting, I guess, mindset, but it's 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 making ourselves accessible.